Yeah, good morning everyone. This is the voice of Mr. Fajimi of Young Bravo Legacy. This morning we will be um, doing um, um, analysis on GPJPY and um, US started because uh, of recent I've been trading. Um, um, we all know I trade GPJPY, but recently I've been looking at US thirty. Though I've not really taken any trade on it, for a lot of time I've really seen lovely setups lovely movement on gp on um us started so i'll be adding it to my pair and um, i've been added it to my pair and i'm watching it for a while now so um we're going to start the analysis we're going to do gpj why you know that's the only pair i trade right now so let's get started so let's start from the weekly time frame let's see if we can get information from the overall picture I'm now looking at this. Uh, yeah, I don't really think there is much information there. Just let's just look to the left what we have here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we can see from here we have this whole bullish movement, this support here. And we have this more higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. We have probably stuff like that. Yeah, we can see price has been really trying to has been going up from here. Overall movement. Now let's look to the left. Do we have any zone of resistance that price could just look to on the daily, on the weekly rather? So we have this zone here. Oh, yeah. So it's also an important zone, but I think we've got over it. Yeah, I think that's the zone we are in presently. We've got over that zone. So let me just, let me just zoom. And um. You can see, and also we created the zone here as well. Look at this price has finding out how to break above this resistance. So if we can break above this resistance, then we need to come down to support, right? We need to come down to support, which is this area here. So that's just the idea right now. So so let's delete all this and focus on uh, the major stuff right there. Let's get rid of this. So from here we can leave the Weekly, don't forget, price has price is finding now to break this resistance zone. So we need we are waiting for price to come to this back to the support area. But you can see we had this last week. We had this push down, but we had um, the NFE on Friday had had us pushing price back again up. So we don't know what to expect. This you are looking at the way we push price up on Friday. It's high probably for us to continue going up. I'm not sure. Let's look at the lower time frame for more information on how price is likely going to react. So we have this resistance zone here. Yeah, I think that was the major resistance there. And you have this support zone here. Yeah? So if you see the support zone that parallel with this zone that we have here, we have this Q logs box on the daily time frame. So now let's look inside what has been happening as well in the box. Um, okay. What can you see for me? We have this crazy resistance here. This major resistance here, price has tested the tries. Let me draw it perfectly more. So, okay, price has tested the tries. And also, we have this zone here. Look at here. We have this support zone that we broke. They created another support zone here. You can see this was okay. No, no, no. Okay. You can see this was very resistant. Now we tested the support. And series of rejections has occurred in this area. One two three rejections so you have to understand this is a very important area there let's take a bigger zoom as well now looking at this price created the support strong bullish candle there's high probability for this candle to continue going up right yeah there's a probability for this candle to continue going up going up okay but now we might also expect that this candle just started this is a new weekly candle you can see the new daily candle it just started is that probability for it to come down a little bit before going over right now it's just going up no problem but right now we can see looking at this daily we have this bullish momentum here created the support bullish momentum is that probability for price to continue going up to this target looking at this daily time frame but for us to continue going up we have to see price move above this area move above this rejection here you can see but if price should move above this rejection here, that is a lot of probability for us that price will continue going up. So right now on the four hours time frame, we're focusing on all the reactions that is happening in this 
in this zone here so let's just go to the four hours and make things clearer for ourselves if you're looking at the four hours let's try and adjust the zones to make more sense yeah let's just try and adjust the zones to make more sense okay looking at this we have we have um a resistance here we have a resistance here we have also we have a zone here okay so let me just let me just let me let me take this off and put this there now i'm looking at the way what we have but when you look at it from there you see it's better to do it like this then you know but when you look at what happened here we had this kind of fake breakout then we broke in and we started moving down some like that like something we had here too so let me just adjust this like this yeah so we can see obviously that if we break above this resistance here it's high probability for us to continue going up to this zone here right you can see just looking at this for hours yeah there's very high probability for us so to continue moving to this zone here so let's keep going let's see so let's keep going yeah i think that's that's way good and also you can look for us to so look for cells here we need to break below here as well for us to take cells back to this support zone because if you look at this this candle needs to break the low here break this area then we need to continue going down for us to continue going down but looking at this area i would say for safety looking at this four hours i would say this is a no trade zone for me no trade zone for me So yeah, this is a no trade zone for me why because this is why i'm saying this is a no trade zone for me because when you look to your left let me show you when you look to your left when you look at this we have this rejection here price rejected from this area here price also rejected from this area here is that probably the price might also reject if we get to this zone again you understand it's very very high probability so for me to really look for that buys that i'm really looking for presently with what the market is presenting i'll look for my buys above this resistance zone and now for me to also look for sales in this area as well is a very critical reason because uh price might just reject come to this area and start going up again we are not really sure what price is present right now you can see that area there are lots of activities in that zone so you want to kindly stay off of it remember what i used to say it is good and best to put yourself in the position to win as a trader what makes you more money is pushing yourself in the position to win so you don't want to be eager to take trades one or two winning trades a day with over 50 40 pips is enough and you'll be done for the week already you understand like that so best best thing is to put yourself in the position to win and that is what we are trying to do now we're not trying to force the trade we're trying to go in big take the little we can in the right direction okay so um let's see the one hour time frame and um okay now you can see the one hour time frame you can see clearly this zone that we marked is very important you can see clearly this zone is very very important you can see the rejections we had one two touches respect and you can see from that zone we had big candles that's a lot that a lot is happening from that zone. look at there we have over like 40 50 piece movement from that zone here let me show look at what we had there i'm coming um settings so look you can see the moving movement we had here and also look at look at what we have here again the middle we go to that zone rejected look at what we have here again so here that is telling you that a lot of activities is happening in that zone so you don't want to be trapped in the other side in this zone you want to make sure you are in the right direction so that you can maximize the opportunity that this zone is presenting so now at leaving that as so we can see that okay because right now you can see that it's showing that we are breaking above this support this rest that we created so a lot of people are really waiting to take buy from here but you can see this candle rejected a lot of series of series of rejections here when you look to the left what you can see you can see rejections so you don't want to be trading when the left is just rejection rejection you don't know when price is going to react so that you can see that's why i have to put a no trade zone here because you can see obviously trading in this zone is very very critical and um you know you have to just think about managing your risks thinking about price going against you thinking about price flipping in the opposite direction so you don't want to be in that kind of position as a trader you want to be in the position where you so 
that's why I call this a no trade zone. So I'll probably not look out for anything now. But for me to look for sales, looking at this one hour, you can see we had these three dejections to the downside here. So I'm going to be looking for sales below this area for continue. Even if price starts selling from here, I will just wait for the continuation of those sales from here. So. So we have sell below support. Sell our sell. Let me just sell after we break and close below support zone. So let's do that. That's better. So below and support zone. That's way better. That's a better sell there. That's a better sell. So yeah, sell will be better if you break below this zone. Let me just draw my zones with this horizontal because now you can see I'm trying to draw these zones with um the horizontal line the this because and I'm drawing it below that week I'm not drawing it uh above this week because now you can see if price should break this week we have clean candles to the left we have clean traffic that is going to drive price to this support zone here so that's a better trade that's a better chance for us to win and as a trader i told you the only thing that will make you more money is putting yourself in, and you see we have a lot of trade here this will be our tp1 this resistance here will be our tp1 and this we can take the up over you can just leave and see where price we head to in the overall she understand so this is a no trade zone so i'm not drawing any zone in daira is a no trade zone let me just redo this zone here so you can see you can see we have that's a very very strong rejection area there's a lot of a lot of events happening in that area so you don't want to be trading in the wrong direction in that area so you want to wait see what happened in this zone and probably just take just follow the market where it's heading to you understand like that so that is why i'm just waiting right now for me to take a sell i need price to break below here for me to take a buy i need price to break above here yes well, this area is a no trade zone for me so i need price to break above here for buys let me just put that yeah, i don't think that will happen today but let's just see yeah this is the week guys so buys after we break and close above resistance so let's have that like that yeah i think that's better that's it that's it that's it more confidential because now once we break above this area now the probability of you looking for buys even for the whole of the week is higher but once you break below this area, probably for you losing for sales for the rest of the week is higher. So you want to be very sure you are in the right place to win. If you say if price rejects here, you want to take a sell. We have a series of events. It is just like price is consolidating. You don't want to be trapped in this kind of shit or price making a decision. You want to be trapped in a trade where price has already made a decision and has a direction. Sure you understand like that. So let's look at the 30 minutes if there's anything different. If not. You see, yeah, you can see the 30 minutes as well. Just showing us the same information. Price broke above here, finding it hard to stay above. So price probably just coming down. We don't know, but price is just finding it hard to stay above this broken resistance. So that's a lot of information over there that you can use to your own advantage. You can see we have this big rejection, big event, rejection, big event happening. So right now we're just waiting to see. I'll check the news and see if we have any big news this week. Whether that big news can push price back to this zone then we have big rejection big event as well but let's wait and see okay this was boe news and it was so massive we made a lot of money from this massive movement i don't even see that there was an historic moment to it on the left but yeah you know it is what this price action beats all all you know so so that is the analysis right now. Let me just make this video longer. That is the analysis on JJ. That's what I'm probably looking for. I'm going to be looking for buy. Yeah, this area is a no trade zone for me. And I've said the reason why it's a neutral zone. There's a lot that will be happening in this zone. There's a lot that will be happening. So you don't want to be trapped in a lot happening. You want to be trapped in a scenario where it is very easy for you to win. In a scenario where it is very, very easy for you to make more than you expect to win, you know. So so you want to be in a scenario where they, you are going to lose more than you expected to lose, you know. So, yeah, that is for GJ and for US 30. Yeah, there's not really a lot of because I'm not a fan of. I'm not. I told you guys, I'm not really trading this already, but I'm just catching a lot of interest on it. I'm trying to just look if I can trade it. Blah blah blah. Look at the risk management. I think it's a little bit cool on my part. 
but I'm just trying to see what moves it when it's move, blah blah. I know to be moving in the New York session more, so I'm just trying to just play around with it. Yeah, and when I was doing my own personal one, I had to see some, I saw some nicely opportunity for us to go, for US started to go down this week, and um, yeah, so I'm just trying to just play around with it. So don't take my analysis to what. Remember, any decision you make trading is all on you. You have to be responsible for what you do trading. So let's look at the weekly time frame. Okay, now looking at the weekly time frame, as you can see, I think my my bias is also correct. As you can see, we have a um, price rejected this of support here. You can see we have this major uh, price coming down with downtrend, higher, higher, lower highs and lower lows. Then we had um, price created the support, started going up, right? Yeah, and now price is approaching another area of interest, which is this resistance here, right? Or we can see this here, because you can see it was the previous support earlier, price created resistance, tried to break up, couldn't break up, price started coming down, right? So let's go now, go to the daily time frame. That's enough information right there. So, okay. So we have this area here. In case we break this zone, we are coming here. Right? So let's put that there. Okay. So now when coming up, yeah, we look at this area here. There's a lot happening in this area here. A lot has happened in this area here. Look at this. Look at this. Price was trying it hard to just break above, break up. Price could not stay above. Then what do we have? We have this wall. Big movement. Look at this. this. Is a lot of big movement. This is US 30. This is big movement. Then we had this big movement to the downside. Now prices are pushing that zone again. Prices are pushing that zone again. This kind of area. I used to draw these zones like this because I used to draw it like this. This is what I do. This kind of scenarios. Um. Yeah. I'll just put this big. I'll just draw it like the big. Yeah. Because you can't be precise about the real edge. You just have to draw it big like this. All this area are no trade zones for me. So if I should come here, I'm not looking to take the decision. I want price to break up over here. So right now you see price is approaching that zone, and we can see a lot of inactivities in our indecision. Price is just moving around. So right now you want to see what price is trying to do. Are we going to tap into this zone and start selling again? You can see this is the key level of the trend right now as well. So you want to be very, very careful taking a buy into this key level, you know. Because price is very close to the key level. We don't want to take it back into the key level. We want to see how price reacts at the key level. Are we going to break the key level and start a proper uptrend? Or are we going to tap into the key level and continue the proper downtrend? So you want to be very careful right now. So right now, we're just waiting to see what price is trying to do here. So let's go to the four hours if there's any information. Because looking at this daily, I think we've already done justice to this analysis. So you can see of information prior and or daily daily time frame key level downtrend key level so you want to be careful so if you are the type that is very serene like me i'll be looking for sales below this area because if price can come all the way back break this area is that probability for us to take the momentum and the push from this key level to continue going down you understand so we can you can see there are logic there are logical areas where you can take profit here you see there are logical area where you can take profit so yeah, I'm really looking for sales on G on on uh, on uh, what's it called on US started this week. Yeah, but I'm not really sure. I'm I'm not I'm not, I don't have a stable bias. I just react to what the market is doing in the long run, you know. Yeah, so let me just stay on this on this four daily and one hour and four hours because that is where the price is obvious. You can see looking at this daily time frame, we are pushing daily key level. That's a lot of information that there might be some buy on versus and if you look at how price really will go up. There was not a lot of activities when price was going up. The candles were just moving slowly, slowly and going up. You can see it took only three days for price to come down and it took almost like three months for price to get here. So that's a lot of information telling you that well, the activities of people are in sales, not in buys. So once the activities of people are in sales and not in buys, that is telling that the main directions are in sell, are sales. Share on the stand like that. So you don't want to be where there are not a lot of people you want to be in the position of the big boys you know so that is what we are trying to do now so we don't have to break down analysis let's look at how price reacts here then you might go to the four hours and see how price react here because this is a daily time frame structure i don't want to be looking at what happened on the one hour and be deciding on that i want to see how this four hour yeah you can see we created the minor 
the minor zone here on the one hour on the four hours we create the minor resistance here i want to see price break into resistance tap into this area here do what it has it goes to do then come back with a big momentum and volatility can do then break back into this zone break this support area here then we can continue riding with the big boys and make money you know i might take this trade if we play out the way i planned yeah though i'm not trading yet starting yet i only i'm only trading gg right now but you know it is what it if the analysis play out the year i want it to i will just take it i'm just liking i just saw the i just i'm just checking it for a while now i'm just liking the idea of the u.s study the way it moves when it wants to move it just move crazily and you if you're in the right direction you could make a lot of money yeah i am ready to explore and i think the risk management is cool for me when i did the uh when i checked the assessment of the risk management yeah i think it's way cool for me so i'm trying to give it a try but i've not taken any live trade on it except demo trades and yeah I don't think I'm not even sure did I made money or not. I'm not even sure, but I think I've not lost. But I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I. I think I took just one or two trades based on the US that day, and uh, yeah, and I think the results were pretty good. So, so guys, those are the analysis for the way this week. Remember to always manage risks. Go in precise. Go in exact. Eat them big. Use your stop loss, and you know the market is not stable. Your decision might be wrong sometime. You have to realize early. Go out early. And I mean, you have to realize early, manage risks early, keep risks small, and keep big, keep wins big, you know. That's what makes you a profitable trader in the long run. Not what you do on the chart, what you do on that MT4, how you manage those trades, and what makes you a better trader, you know. And don't forget, only trade one or two currency pairs. Don't trade more than one or two currency pairs if you want to last in forex trading. I never, don't ever trade volatility in this. 99% of people that are trading volatility in this are losing trader. I say it with my full chest. Like nine percent of people that are trading volatility in there are losing trader. Once you start trading volatility in this and you don't make it, you can never do forex again because those things will kill you. Thank you so much, guys. See you again tomorrow or within the week. Have a loving trading session. I love you.